So we're headed to the barber shop. We're gonna get the hair done up, cleaned up. So something I wasn't, I didn't even actually think about even making it a topic or even talking about it whatsoever, but because it is such a, it's, it's happening, it's happening right now in my life. I've had to deal with death and something I've actually never have had to deal with before. Um, this year has been, my 27th year of living has been insane. <laughs> Absolutely insane. Completely life-changing, life-altering all over the board in every aspect of it. Um, you know, there's no way to other way to put it. Uh, my life has changed drastically. <clears throat> Good, bad, ugly, um, all of them, all of them, all of the ugliness and happiness and all combined into one and to make it just one fucking crazy year, pretty much. Um, but in the very recent month, I have lost two people. I've lost, and my son has lost, my son Braden, which I have a two-year-old. Well, he's gonna be two. I have a, I have a son, and who is my life, and that kid is literally the reason I get out of bed in the morning, as most children are to their parents. And I don't think you truly understand that. I know I definitely never did until you actually have a child, and instantaneously, I mean instantaneously, your life changes, and your thought process changes, and you instantly realize that you're, you should realize that you're responsible for another human life, and your life becomes less important to theirs. Must, now, I don't want to ever, <laughs> ever hear anybody ever say, I didn't say your life is important. Your life is less important to your child, and that's just my opinion. I, I believe that. That's the correct answer. However, you know, that day, my life became less important to my child's, um, to Braden's. And, you know, and going forward, he uh, he means everything to me. So that's that was we were getting off topic, but <clears throat> I've lost two people and my son, my son has lost two grandparents. I lost my mother and about, 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 about yeah. I lost my mother about a month ago. Out of nowhere, suddenly, um, we still yet to actually know what happened. Um, it, it, it was due to health, I'm assuming, um, that no one, it was just an underlining health or something that no one really knew. No one saw coming, that's for sure. Um, so dealing with that, and then now my son's mother just lost her father, and he lost his battle with cancer. So it's been... It's been strange to say the least, um, especially coming from, especially someone like myself who hasn't really lost anybody super close to them before. Now, any loss is terrible, but once you lose somebody that you know actually has value and is a, is a part of your life, essentially, you know that plays a role in your life. I should say. That's when, you know, that's when. Things get crazy. I guess I just want to take the time to say, and I'm saying this because it's it's fresh in my mind. Especially, I mean, my son, my son's mother just lost her her father yesterday, and I mentioned earlier that I have a funeral to go to tomorrow, and it is his. Um, we never know how long we actually have. I know it sounds cliche when people say cliche that when people say, you know, oh, live your life to the fullest because you don't, you never know you have, you never know if you have tomorrow or whatnot and all that. That is so fucking true. It's not even funny. It's it's so true for many reasons. It's it's true because you know yourself. You never know what day you have, but your loved ones, you know, the people that you leave behind, that you may not think care. You know, it will be dramatic for a second. You may not think people care about you and you know you're alone and all this and blah, blah, blah. That is the biggest fucking bunch of bullshit in the world because 
you have so many people who care about you and so many people who love you and if you were to if you were to, you're a puzzle piece to everyone's life and if you take a piece of the puzzle the puzzle's not whole so and you're always going to have that piece missing you can't replace a puzzle piece every puzzle piece is it's specific and individual to that puzzle. It's just so important to, to tell the people that you care about, that you care about them and how much they mean to you and everything because you may not get that chance. And unfortunately, if you don't get that chance, there's no way of, of, of getting it back. So, you know, just make sure you tell the people that you care about and the people in your life that mean so much to you how much they mean to you because you may not get that opportunity again so that's just my little piece of for that and life sucks <laughs> pretty much life life throws you some crazy crazy things and you have to be able to deal with them and you're either gonna you're either gonna let life eat you take you up spit you out and you're gonna you're gonna be left a chewed piece of meat or you're going to take what life gives you and you're going to say, I got this and you're going to handle it and you're not going to let it beat you. You're not going to let it chew you up. You're not going to let life get the better of you. So that's that. We're almost at the barber shop. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Late night, yeah. I'm going out. We throwed up in my bands like on 75 All my friends, yeah, they up, they living his life See my mama happy now cause I just bought this house I'm balling it out Living this life, I'm feeding this hype yeah. Ooh, I'm flexing with my doobie in my pool yeah. I'm smoking on that shit, it makes me cool yeah. Drinking that tequila make cool Do I know how I got so dope? Losing my control Cuts over, fresh, fresh cut. My man Noel hooked me up, as he does every week. Next stop, coffee. We're into some serious need of some coffee. Starbucks, here we come. I'm feeling this life, I'm doing it right, yeah, yeah. Whoa, I'm living this life, I'm feeling this hype, I'm doing it right, yeah. So it's laundry day. Well, it's been laundry day. It's not. I don't have an actual day to do laundry, but uh, my laundry's getting pretty uh, pretty packed up. I'm running out of clothes. I think I've worn this already. <sighs> we'll, we'll see. No, I'm just getting too extra for that. I do wear clean clothes. Um, well, so this is how this is how I've been doing laundry in the single life. So, yeah. Fitness hype, doing it right, yeah Life gets down with laundry. 
laundry day. Uh, I don't always do that, although lately I have been. But it's just so easy. I mean, I'm paying for my laundry anyways. So, as far as like quarters, because I live in an apartment, so I gotta pay, that's a coin op machine. So it's a few extra cents at that point for them to fold it. It's just a time saver. Time is money, people. Time is money. <laughs> or am I just being lazy? One or the other. It is what it is.